You're gonna be a YouTube thing. Oh, sweet. I want to have last for show. So today I had an awesome day at jujitsu. Me and John were doing some rolling. It was me, John, and Missy. So we were kind of just working on like concept ideas and um, just some things that we haven't worked before. And they're fantastic. I love today. Today was an awesome day. I got some uh, aha moments. I've been working on back takes from 93 Guard. And there's a couple of things that I, I think I got a move down. I don't know a, a name of it. I, I've never really seen it before. I've been trying to find like good, effective back takes for super fat people online and I can't like all the 93 guard back take you gotta do a lot of moving you gotta do a lot of stuff I'm looking for a back take that's like doom doom chop I'm gonna go do it tonight take a video pop this stuff together so you guys are gonna start seeing what it looks like right so we're in 93 right here and I'm thinking about going like here controlling this controlling the arm doing all that fun stuff right Let's say Wesley's a big dude and he wants to smash, right? And so, like a drunk frat boy on a Friday night, Wesley puts his hand where it doesn't belong in through this little hole, right? So, coming from here, I'm going to cat paw grip this arm and be like, nope, now you're caught in a police trap, little rapey frat boy, right? Anyway, so from here, I want to orbit the head or switch or do something this is the part where i'm kind of figuring out how i want to do the transition because if wesley keeps his head up or i might just go from here grab over to here that's probably what i'm going to do right and i'm still tight and i'm pulling on it right but now i switch my feet kick this out and i have wesley in a back take and that's what i'm thinking i've just kind of been playing with it figuring it out I mean, it has some concepts to do with like a fat man sweep, like I'm talking about the axioms of jujitsu. Same thing, Kick it. you're kicking out a knee on it, and it's pretty neat. I like it, and I just like how it's a very simple back take. I, I have to tweak it more. It's not where I want it to be, but I think I'm going in the right direction. I might try getting up a little bit more, maybe throwing the heel around, pulling in, pulling myself up on top, but I gotta figure it out. We're in 93 guard. Wesley wants to get all touchy feely, like he's a frat boy, right? And I take this and I switch over here and I shove it, right? Pulling this heel up and over into a back take, right? That's the main thing. It's it's there, and I can I can force it to work. I know that, but I need it uh, crispy, like really smooth. And I gotta figure out all the little bits of it. So I gotta do it probably another hundred times, real slow, working on it, figuring out where exactly I want to transition, where exactly I want my feet to go. Um, like where exactly I want to pull in, squeeze, do all that stuff. But I think I got it because my whole game plan, usually what, this is when I'm fighting bigger dudes than me. So I'm 250. This is for people who are like 300 pounds, right? I still got power. Like they're going to be stronger than me, but I got enough power to throw my whole shit. I hate fat people laying on me. It sucks. So usually if I'm under them, I either play lasso guard, spider guard, or I hit 93 guard. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll throw a video, I'll cut the videos right here so you, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I try to force my whole body to either fight their, uh, just their upper body above their nipples and stay away from the gut so they can't, so if they try to drive in on me forward, they're not getting their, the mass of their weight on their belly. Belly. They're not getting that shit on me. They are keeping it off of me and then I'm only fighting their upper body weight so it's a little bit better for me personally and I think like smaller people fight big dudes like this too but this is just the way I fight them so I want to change the direction of the bull when they're smashing in they're falling in 
So if I can set it up to where I can get it to where I'm going and like pushing, it's the difference between pushing forward and pushing something down, right? You can get a lot more force going down and staying strong because you're getting your entire pecs in it. You're getting your back into it. You're getting everything into it. Your whole body is going. And that's kind of what I wanted to get to where I might not be able to pull your arm this way. I might not be able to cause your arm to fold up, but I sure as hell can make your whole body go this way. I can take that top half, I don't care how big you are, and make your body go whoo, over. 93 Gar, Wesley is like his dad, who is big and giant and just wants to smash, like he is a 40 year old man at a frat boy party. And so Wesley sticks his hand where he doesn't belong in through my stuff. So I grab it as I take this, I, or, uh, well, no, that, that'd be better. I'm gonna have to take it, lock it down, switch over, push him, punch him away, pull this, come in as it's still here. That's what I'm thinking for a big fat guy causing him to fall over. Whether you got a C-clamp and, and you're just pushing, right? C-clamp and push, or you got um, spider cat paw grip and you're punch choking in, just boom, you push them over. This is stronger than pushing. Cause you're, oh, I don't know why, your elbows are out, but like, it, same thing when you're trying to get up on a bar. Unless you're doing dips, right? You're not going like that. But if you're wanting to get up on a bar that's flat in front of you and you want to get your whole body up, you're not keeping your elbows in. You're not turning your elbows in, you're turning them out. So you can go, whoom, and just get them. This way, big dude, I have to use my entire body against you to get you over. Because I'm going to have to, because you're fat as shit. You're fatty, like fat ass. So I'm going to, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to choke you. But I'm going to come over, transition, and then when I'm here, I still, I'm pulling on this. I don't know if I like that. No, I don't like that one either. I like this better, but anyways, whatever. I'll just tuck it real tight. Anyways, so grab this, I tuck it. I'm still keeping this locked. And when I'm ready to go, because he, Wesley, you're going to smash in. Mm -hmm. Boom! Hit it. And just shove it with both hands away, causing him to roll. And then getting my hooks in for a back take onto a big fat bastard. Uh, that's what I've got so far. I don't know the name of it. I know it's something from 93 Garden every time. I type in back take from 93 guard into wonderful YouTube. I can't find anything that remotely is close to this. It's uh, very similar to Batman sweep. Sorry. Uh, no, that's fine. You can stay in the camera. Next. But it's very close to Fat Man sweep kicking out the thing. I just don't know because I'm working with the concept of getting all of the fat guy's mass off to one side into a back take um, because when you're fighting fat people, I don't want to be under fatty McFat ass.